Researching saddles today. That's what I'm doing. Researching saddles and rigging. Uh, different ways of uh, putting it on the horse. All right. I'll come right back and explain what I'm doing today. Time to play with some clay. All right, today I'm on the computer going through all my uh, reference materials. These are pictures of saddles that I've taken um, in saddle shops or in antique stores. This one is about the right type that I'm using or, or going to be using on the horse. Uh, it's uh, either early 1900s or uh, about 1880s, it looks like about an 1880 saddle. And uh, looking at shape and the, the construction and all the uh, fenders and how they are all done and the stirrups, just going through and, and getting all this material. It's taken me most of the day to go through all my stuff and I'm still going through uh, rigging of uh, the saddle. But uh, these are some of the pictures that I've collected over the years. And uh, if you're going to sculpt a, a saddle, you got to get the rigging right. And uh, this one is uh, really well detailed. Um, I don't think there's the same saddle. I think there's a different one because the uh, stitching right here where my pointer is, is different then, whoops, went too far, than the way it is right here. I kind of like this one here, but I'm not sure about that. Um, little pouch in the back of the uh, saddle, uh, cantle. Um, but the stitching, the straps, the uh, rosettes, all that stuff who I photographed uh, probably back in the early 2000s. Um, he's here with his horse here and he's got it with a uh, hackamore uh, rig on the uh, horse's face. A lot of times they would rope their own horses uh, out of a remuda and uh, the remuda would be full of wild horses and that's where they, they would get their horse for the day and they would have their favorite horse of course but uh, this uh, hackamore would be good for a horse newly broke then just shows how to tie it on the horse and all that stuff uh, Harry was it does a lot of uh, movies He's a uh, extra on a lot of Western movies and stuff like that. And uh, this is an 1800 uh, rigging here with the uh, lariat tied to the saddle. Saddle bag and uh, his uh, slicker tied onto the uh, back of the saddle. And that would seem obvious that a, a, a cowboy hot doing... Uh, herding uh, steers and cattle would have that because if it starts raining, uh, you'd want to be able to just reach back and grab your slicker and put it on. And uh, if he had to repair his saddle or anything like that, everything else would be in that uh, saddle bag. It's uh, everything that he would need for the day. Now he has a rifle uh, connected to his uh, saddle. Um, I'm not going to do that. I don't think. I think that's uh, probably for another purpose. Um, if you're herding steers, you're not going to. I don't know if you'd have a rifle with you. In fact, I've, I've read that uh, cowboys are required not to carry a pistol with them when they were herding cattle because if somebody got pissed off at another 
uh, hand, he, you know, you had, you'd end up having a uh, shootout. But uh, anyway, so a lot of stuff I've been going through, you know, this construction of a, the tapadero. I don't know if I'm going to do a tap or not. And then there's different kinds of rigging on a saddle. I'm now on uh, Google and I'm uh, trying to find anything at all about rigging a saddle. Okay, that saddle shows a, a type of rigging that would have been used in the 1800s, uh, like I was trying to describe. It's uh, not a leather sa uh, cinch, but uh, it's a made up of, uh, looks like uh, some kind of uh, rope type uh, material that's been uh, bound together. And that's what I've been looking for. So basically that's what I'm doing today is just basically going through and seeing what I can find. Um, Cause when I start sculpting the saddle on the horse, I've got to be able to put it on the horse properly. I just did a search on uh, YouTube um, on how to saddle your horse. And there's a whole collection of videos showing you how to saddle a horse. Some of them are this type of saddles I want, but uh, some of them are like this uh, racing saddle right here. Um, anyway, just, uh, you get your reference material from any place. Uh, anyway, I'll just be going through these videos too and seeing what I can find. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great night and I'll see you next time. Not sure when that's gonna be. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.